Hi, my name is Alex with APEC Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be comparing Jira issue types and how they define issue types versus Agile terminology. And basically, we're going to be comparing an Epic in Jira versus an Epic in Agile. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and drop a like. If you have any questions about anything I'm going to be covering in this video, please make sure you drop a comment below. Thank you very much, and let's get started. All right, so we're going to be talking about the various issue types available in Jira, specifically the ones that come out of the box when you start a software project. Now, Jira or Atlassian in general, they define or they provide you with a slightly different set of what I'll call issue types because that's what Jira calls them. But what I'm trying to achieve in this video is comparing them to how Agile defines the hierarchy of the breakdown of work. Atlassian does it ever so slightly different, and I just wanted to give you my two cents and my explanation of how you should be viewing this because I have a lot of clients that get very tripped up, specifically when we're talking about tasks. So let's jump into Jira and take a look at how Atlassian defines this stuff. So what you're seeing in my screen right now is I'm inside of a project. It doesn't really matter which project you are, as long as it's a software project and you've picked either Scrum or Kanban. Those are going to be, if you remember from my video where we talked about the different project types, if you haven't seen that already, please make sure you go back and, and watch that video where I basically give you the breakdown of the different project types. But assuming you picked the most common one, which is either a Kanban template or a a scrum template, you're going to have these default story, bug, epic tasks and subtasks out of the box. And what I want to focus this video on is really describing the hierarchy of the breakdown of work in Jira versus the hierarchy and the breakdown of work from an agile, just like an agile methodology perspective. So first off in Jira, the highest level of from a hierarchy perspective is an epic. You can't go higher than an epic, at least not by default and not out of the box. Make sure you're subscribed because in a future video, I will be showing you how to do a more advanced configuration of your Jira so that your epic can have issues above it. But again, make sure you're subscribed and make sure you drop a like in this video because you are not going to want to miss out when I go into the details of how to do that in Jira. But anyways, for the purposes of this topic, we're talking about the Epic. So the Epic is the highest point in Jira. So everything is really going to revolve around the Epic. Now in the world of Agile, the Epic is pretty clear that it's the highest level as well. Depending on which flavor of Agile you're practicing, that may or may not be true. Some specifically those that practice safe, right? You might have an initiative or some other issue type above. And out of the box with Jira, you're not going to have that. You're not going to be able to do that, at least not without some modifications, which again, we'll be talking about in a future video. But for now, I think we're pretty par with uh, epics. Now, coming below that in Jira, epics can have children and those can be those are defined in any one of three ways. We have either a story, a task or a bug. And this is where depending on how or where you learned your agile methodologies, this is where we start making our first confusion, if you will. I think for the most part, it's pretty clear epics and stories, they go hand in hand. I think from, from an agile manifesto perspective and just a Jira 101 perspective, like that relationship is pretty locked in by pretty much everybody. I think it's pretty universal. The same with bugs. Um, when people are talking bugs and the relationship with respect to epics, uh, I think it's pretty, pretty solid that everybody understands that stories and bugs are pretty much siblings. However, I will say that some teams that I coach, they do try to embed the bug under the story as a child. And in Jira, you cannot do that. A story and a bug are siblings. So that means they can't be parents or children of each other. So they're at the exact same hierarchy level. Now, my recommendation to clients is one of two things. And so this is kind of like, if you're trying to understand, like, how do I associate this bug belongs to this story? There's two ways of doing it and really, really just one way, but like a two step process. But what I recommend to my clients is the bug 
should still be associated to the epic. Now that's open to interpretation. That's open to maybe, maybe that's wrong. Maybe that's right. But in general, hear me out for a second. My thought process is if you associate the, that bug back up to your epic, then at least that relationship is established and you know that that bug came out of that feature set, if you will. Second, and probably the best thing to do is to link the bug and the story just by using linked issues. And let me show you what that looks like. So if you go into any project and you create uh, an issue, let's just create a story. So I'm going to go to the backlog. I'm going to, I already have a story. So I'm actually going to create a bug. And so if you create, you can actually come in the backlog, click on bug and do demo bug. Once you have that bug established, you can go one of two ways. You can either go into the story and, and say, Hey, I am going to link using the little chain link looking thing here, and you're going to link an issue. And when you do that, you're now going to be able to define the relationship. And by the way, in a future video, I'll show you how you can basically determine or, or alter the values here. For now, we're just going to put it's blocked by, and then I'm going to go look up my bug that I just created. So if I put demo bug and I link it and I click this little link button, that bug and that story are not linked together. And so if I'm in the story as I am right now, you will clearly see the bug is uh, related to the story. And if I go into the bug, you're going to notice that the verb here changes, right? So now this bug blocks the story. And th typically that's one way of doing it. Again, the verb is probably something that you can go and alter and make it something more appropriate to what you're actually trying to describe. But the point is you want to link your stories. Now you can do this, or you can also additionally uh, tie the bug back up to the epic by filling out the epic link here on the right. So that's that. So if we go back to describing our issue types, the next one that I want to talk about is a task. So tasks in Jira is probably where we have the farthest delete, like separation from what, what agile practitioners are practicing because Typically in, an, in the agile world, you have the epic, you have your story, and then you have your tasks. In Jira, you kind of have that as well, but it starts with the epic, and then you have your story, but then you have a task issue type in Jira, which by the way, is a sibling of the story and the bug as well. And what that basically means is just like the bug can't go under the story, the task can't go under the story. The task cannot be a child of a story in Jira. That is just not allowed because they're at the same hierarchy level. So what you want to do instead is you want to look at what Jira calls a subtask. A subtask is more appropriately representative of what Agile refers to as a task. And that when you go that way, then you can have a three step hierarchy. You can have your epic, your story, and then your subtask. And that three is what you're looking for from an Agile perspective of having your epic stories and tasks. So as long as you can kind of understand that, you're going to be creating, or you're going to be able to create in Jira, the, the representation of your data, the way you're kind of imagining it from your agile, uh, courses. Now I do want to state one of the next common questions that I get is okay. So if task is a sibling to a story and sibling to a bug, then what is a story or what is the difference between a story and a task at that point? And so let me give you my interpretation. I've actually gotten this interpretation from, uh, another author who, who published the book on agile. And I really liked it and it's aligned with the way the beliefs that I've had. So I like to tell my clients that a story explains what needs to be done. And I think from an agile perspective, that's pretty universal. The story should be bite-sized and should tell you what needs to happen. And then the team kind of goes in and does it right near dev team. The task is going to do the exact same thing, but there's a big difference between the two. First stories are what I call value added work. This is going to be the work that Somebody's going to do a commit against, they're going to open up some sort of a PR. There's going to be a build. There's something valuable, right? The company's going to be able to take that story, potentially ship it and make money off of it. The task, however, I like to call as non business value added, or just not something that the company's going to make money off of, but it's critical to the development of the product or, or something like that. Right? So the example I like to use is if you're making some sort of a cloud-based application, your stories are going to be all the features you're creating there for that application, but your task is going to be like spooling up a S3 bucket or some sort of like the IT work behind the scenes, right? It's a support in, it's a supporting task. It's something that is necessary for the overall completion, but you're not necessarily going to ship it or, or, 
or make money off of it, but it's a supporting thing that just helps supplement the overall epic or the overall deliverable. So that's kind of how I want you to think about the differences between stories and tasks, because I think that really, really does help define how to look at a story versus a task versus a subtask, right? So your subtasks are going to be defining how things get done. And the subtask can be associated as a child of any story, any bug or any task. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And that was a quick uh, breakdown of how Jira does their hierarchy versus how Agile explains the relationships between epic stories and tasks. I hope that was beneficial. I know a lot of clients, almost every single client that I've had always ask me, so if the subtask is, is designed to be the replacement for the task in Jira, at least, what do I do with the task? I'm hoping that this video while quick was uh, able to answer that question. So if you have any other questions, please make sure you drop them in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed by now, please make sure you're subscribed because I got a lot of great videos explaining these kind of things coming your way. And I just appreciate the support and I appreciate doing these videos for you, the community, so that you can take your Jira Guru skills to the next level. So with that said, thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.